Hello and welcome back to the Avatar mod for Crusader Kings 2. So, we are off to find yourself an ostrich and we're helping our liege out with a war. Just multitasking here. My lord, the wise guru Zin has agreed to come up and take residence at your court. Fantastic, we have a wise guru now. And, um, I kind of want him to be our court physician over the other guy we hired last time. Like, he's much better, although we can't have him as that. We could have him as our spiritual guide, but... I mean, that's cool. We have a guru. And we can now marry our betrothed. I'm going to leave it just a second to let it pop up itself. There we are. We will, of course, accept. And see what happens there. Good. We're just married. We're now married to uh, Lady Wan Yi. Fantastic. Yep. No real problems there. Have Northern Air Temple grown, or am I imagining things? I think I'm imagining things. Oh, this army just came through and um, assaulted things down. We're running from the enemy army. Yeah, it doesn't seem like we're going to be able to keep Heliong inside our uh, borders, but we'll see. We'll see. We have tried our best. We did go and actually help our liege, which is more than could be reasonably expected. Uh, Fong is no longer our court chaplain. Oh, yeah, so Heliong has uh, been lost. Fong is now... Um, Underneath this other one, Lord Bobo. Right, we need a new spiritual guide. I guess that should be our uh, fantastic new guru. And he can go research cultural tech for us. There we go. Um, our grandson, a bastard of uh, our daughter and Captain Yoshi, has arrived at our court. He is one years old. Oh, I guess he was at Captain Yoshi's court and Captain Yoshi just died. And eh, actually not that close. Okay. He has arrived at our court. Interesting. Uh, we'll give him an education of duty. There we go. And next one, righteously imprisoned Breedy. What's he trying to do? Fabricate a claim on the province of uh, Zagaiji. Is that not... Which province is that? Uh, or wait, or does by province, does it, it means all of our stuff. Oh no, no, that, that is not allowed. How many men do we have? We have a reasonable amount. We're just going to disband. Uh, we're, we're going to unlink. Stop. Wait, wait a little bit. Then disband? We can. Okay, that's fine. Um, we are going to tell him to end his plot. He will not end his plot. Okay. We'll try and imprison him then, I guess. My guards failed to capture Bree D, who has now raised his flag in rebellion. Two arms. We will call in our allies to this war. Um, some will accept, some will not accept. That's fair. We need a new merchant advisor. Back to being Yun, I think. And Yun will go back to collecting taxes. We'll raise our armies. Come down here. Disband that army. Right. Um, the king level title answered our call to arms. Uh, Lord Wai Zhao answered our call to arms. And our alliance with Lord Ying is broken down. Although I will get it back again if he wants it. He doesn't want it. Okay. He will not join our wars at this time. He has fallen out with us. Okay. So we will lead... We'll have Kong leading the side, and we'll have Shinji leading the other side. And we're going to go down, and we're going to beat up our uh, unfaithful vassal. My wife is pregnant, Lady uh, Wan Yi. So that actually means we're probably going to have a new heir, which is interesting. Wait, does she have bending? She does not have bending. Oh, we might get another heir without bending. That would be uh, classic at this point. Uh, looks like a few more Fire Nation bits are being taken along the, uh, edge here. Interesting. I just noticed the Earth Kingdom's, uh, like, font kind of moved along a little bit. Okay. You have a new heir. If you die now, you will play as, uh, Gay Ma. I think that sounds right. Is that how you'd say it? I'm not sure. Anyway. Um, we have a new heir. Which is fortunate and unfortunate. I did not understand fear before, but once you have felt your legs shake and teeth chatter with fear, it's hard to remain brave. Oh no, we're not brave anymore. That's unfortunate. Avatar Aang. 
After 16 years uh, since the last Avatar perished, a successor has finally been identified as Avatar Aang. Whether he proves to be worthy of the title, time will tell, but for now, what is certain is that the Avatar will set out to master the four elements once more. Oh, interesting. So we now have Aang, who is an air nomad. Uh, he is also an airbender. He is also the Avatar. Um, fantastic. He has a lot of interesting traits, which I don't think are the ones that uh, Aang naturally has, as in the Aang from the show. That's cool. Um, he also has a very, very weird mustache. Well, there we go. We'll see what happens with Aang. See where he goes. Where did our um, unfaithful vassal go? Oh, he went up to our capital. That is a, that is a bold move by him. Uh, very bold. He got on his boats and just went straight for the capital. Okay. Well, hopefully it doesn't capture any of our family. Uh, you have made our liege like us a little bit more. Fantastic. Don't suppose our liege feels like marrying into our family. At all. Like a betrothal between her and, say, Jingbo. No. Well, matrilineally. She would accept that. Interesting. Um, how about... No, you would not accept our bastard. You would accept a marriage with Jingbo. I'm not sure we want it, but she would accept it, which is interesting. We probably don't want it because we want an heir and a spare, but, you know, it's fine. Um, I think stewardship's right here. It's willful, indolent, and conscientious. Conscientious does well. Indolent does not do well underneath stewardship. What about Marshall? Willful will do well under Marshall. Timid and idolizer will not. Yeah, I guess we go Marshall. That seems fine. Uh, they have sieged down our capital and did not capture any of our um, family, as far as I can tell. Uh, yep, didn't capture any of our family. We're about to siege down his uh, lands. Earth Kingdom got even smaller, I think. Yeah, I think something got taken somewhere along here and uh, it's just knocked the uh, text all the way down. Okay. Continue sieging. Continue sieging. And we've got it. We won our siege. Uh, we need a new spiritual guide. Um, oh, because some people got captured. So we captured Jasmine, Kong, Chun11. Um, who else did you capture? Well, that's why we got a pop-up about her earlier. It's because she came to our lands. Okay. Fummy 1-1. One, one. Uh, Botoku 1-1. One, one. Uma. And, uh, Zin actually died of pneumonia. Okay. That's a lot of stuff. Anyway, we need a new spiritual guide. I guess it's going to be Da right now. He can go research cultural tech in our capital. Right. If we siege everything, we win the war, so... As it, I'm fine, fine staying here. Despite being able to help me with my latest war, my friend Fong has chose to ignore my plight. The war was a struggle, and any help, any help at all, could have helped me greatly. Oh, he likes me less. I wonder if we can. Yeah, we could become uh, allies with our um, uh, with our son if he didn't have that many political concerns. But even with political concerns, he might have said yes, which is nice. My guard captain tells me that one of my commanders, Kong, has improved significantly. Well done him. Well done him. Right. Continue our siege. Uh, just kind of continue peacefully. Oh, what I should do is I should select the army and just tell everybody to come and sit on top of me. There we are. We've won the next siege. Last siege should give us 100% because we will have got all of his lands. The absolute rule law is back in force here. Gar Tapton has discovered a man of great military talent called Zin Fu who is willing to serve in my ranks. Zin Fu is a skilled tactician. Yeah. Good. Good job him. Right. We'll continue our siege down and just keep going. He's discovered another man. Uh, Song Wan. Fantastic. Good job. This war isn't going quite as I thought it would. I lose more men per battle than I had planned, and the sieges, the sieges are going on forever. More manpower, more siege weapons are what I need. Perhaps a friend could assist me with this. Uh, no. I think we've got it. We will win the war soon. We'll, uh, keep going here. My guard captain tells me that one of my commanders, Yun, has improved significantly. 
Oh, he's now a cavalry leader and he gets extra marshal. Well done to him. We finish the siege, we go up to 100%. We will, of course, offer our peace and force our demands. We have captured Breedy. Now Breedy. Oh, wait, no, we captured all the uh, all the ones. Oh, okay. I thought that they had been captured by someone else, but no, we captured them all. The only one we really care about is um, Yan Chi. I thought he was called Breedy. Was that his father? His father was called Breedy. He's called Yan Chi. Maybe that's why he, he revol uh, revolted against us. He was very unhappy that we kept calling him the wrong name. Um, we cannot revoke his title as it is not allowed. Okay. We could execute him, in which case his title would go to uh, Chi Fu of the Jade District. Uh, which would not be ideal for us. Um, do we have it so that titles cannot go outside the realm? Uh, laws So what we're looking at here. Um, I think it might be crown laws. Uh, realm inheritance is free. Okay. So this means that Yan Chi, um, we kind of need to keep alive. Uh, I think we'll ransom him back if he would accept it, but I don't think he will. No, he doesn't have 70 gold to ransom back. I guess what we do is we release him right now. Yeah, we're merciful. We have to release him. And we need his wife to be released as well. Because otherwise we can't... Uh, like, we, he has no chance of getting children. Okay. Next one that we want to do is we want to work out what to do with these people. I think we just want to release them all, right? Yeah. Release all prisoners. But that should have stopped his plot. Um, yeah. Cool. Disband our men. Um, dear son-in-law, peace be with you. We request you honor your obligation and answer this call to arms against Governor Macau of Zinjin Zion and Aya of Aya's host. Uh, declining would cost us a ton of prestige and might make us an alliance breaker in the eyes of the world. If we accept, we'll be part of the revolt against the rule of Governor uh, Masanobo of Nantu and Aya's conquest of Yimbin. Okay, what are these wars? So, we have one person here who's revolting against the rule of the governor. And he controls this land and he has about 2,000 troops. Then you have Aya's host, who is trying to get um, in a conquest of Yinbin. Is that the name of the province? No, it's the name of the state. So that state there. So it's not everything he holds, but it's most of what he holds. It's not. It's actually just that bit. Okay. Is this capital, though? How strong is the host as well? I'm probably going to join it either way, but it's a Fire Nation host as well. Interesting. It's got a thousand people. We will, of course, accept. I think if we do go down and help, we just wait a month or two to let our uh, armies refresh. There we go. Let them all get back up to where they should be. You can no longer ignore the irritation in your throat to begin to violently cough. Oh dear. I think we're about to die. Jay is sure you're developing the Great Pox. He insists you should follow his instructions. Okay, Jay. Let's see what you got. Jay was certain your illness was caused by too much laughter. To make you feel better, he forbade everyone to tell you jokes and provided you with tedious tomes. I'm not sure that did anything. Oh no! Things are not going well for us. The symptoms which have troubled you lately were a sign of something much worse. You have cancer. Oh no! Oh, that's not good at all. That's, that's seriously not good for us. Well... Your court physician has come to see you and offers you treatment for your illness. He explains there are several different types of treatment. Well, here's the thing. I think we have to go my life is in your hands. Go for the extreme. Because anything other than that will just lead to us dying in about a month. So, let's go extreme. Ye approached you with a small knife. He held your arm steady and made a precise incision, barely breaking your skin. He then proceeded to press something against the wound. It looked like the diseased tissue it, and you shuddered. I feel amazing. Fantastic! It worked! So, we're actually still feeling amazing right now. We're feeling so good. We need to wait for our men to recharge before we can join our ally. Unfortunate. I did kind of want to go straight in and help, but... We need our men to come back. 
The revolt ended. White Peace. Great. That actually is fantastic. He should be able to fight off the rest himself. Cool. We should maybe upgrade our holding a little bit here. We actually have no money to upgrade our holding. Um, a peasant accused of murder is dragged before your court. His wife and children were found butchered in a small hut they called home, and he was standing nearby covered in their blood. Despite this damning evidence, the man continues to profess his innocence. What should be done with him? Well, it seems like the evidence is fairly clear. He's covered in their blood, standing nearby. I think, I think he must be hanged. The more and more people seek an audience at, as more and more people seek an audience at your court, you've come to realize uh, there is much to do when it comes to administration of this realm. You must work harder. We become diligent. Oh, well done us. We're starting to go on the right path. It looks like this guy down here has won this war as well. Look at the amount of war score he has. Yep, he's won it. He would have won it before we even got there. Um, perfect. Our liege likes us even more. Fantastic. And that is the conquest over. Okay. Important decisions. We can offer money to our liege. We're not going to do that. And we can continue uh, saving up our money. It's all going very, very well for us. I'm expecting that we die very soon, by the way. Like, as soon as that wears off in four years, we should die. And I think we'll die before that. Our guard captain's found us another um, man of great military talent. Well done, him. So we can get we have a claim on the settlement of Etchi, which is our espionage expert's claim. Okay. Um, I don't think we want to want to press it, but we could. Um, our guard captain found us another man. He found us uh, Kim Lee. Okay, Kim Lee is a relatively good fighter. That's good. He's doing a very good job at finding us consistent fighters in our realm. Doing a very, very good job. Right. Um, we probably have enough money to upgrade our holdings now, right? No, we need even more money. Okay. How about now? Now we could upgrade our barracks and our stables. Is that what we want to upgrade? Uh, maybe we could get ourselves some extra guard if we do that. Earthbending Dojo also seems tempting. Um, this one requires us to have Stronghold Infrastructure 5 to upgrade. Keep, we could upgrade if we waited a little bit. And maybe we'll go Barracks. We'll, do, we'll start that upgrade going. Get ourselves going in the right path. Okay, cool. My son, Sho, has asked it to spend some quality family time in Heishalao. I'm sure the idea was for me to become better friends with Jingbo Ma. That sounds nice. Yes. Unlanded Sons, Jingbo Ma. Okay. Uh, he is a very, very good military leader right now. Uh, we don't have any land to give him. So, I think what we'll do is we'll try and find a marriage for him. But Lady Yan. Uh, married to... No, is the daughter, sorry, of uh, Lord Bobo the Lion Bear. Let's try and make peace before we die. Let's arrange a betrothal. Yes. No matter how many issues you deal with, they are always more demanding your attention. As the cacophony of quarrelling nobles echoes throughout your court, you suddenly snap and push your way through the bewildered crowds to reach an exit. You can't take this anymore. We've become stressed. Okay. I've become friends with Jinbo. Fantastic. I reject your insulting suggestion Lady Yan will never marry Jinbo. Wow. That's just rude. She's still top of the list. Still says he'll say yes. I'm gonna... Oh, it's because he became 16. Okay, I wish the marriage to happen. They have gotten married. Fantastic. Let's get some peace in our uh, bit here. We'll get ourselves an alliance. We have become an ally with Lord uh, Bobo, the lion bear. Have we become an ally of our um, son yet? No. No, we cannot. Okay. Cool. My guard captain tells me one of my commanders, Jinbo, is improving significantly. Fantastic. Where is Jinbo? Uh, Lord Jinbo being our son? Um, I don't think so. Do we have another Jinbo? Um, I think someone underneath us, maybe? I don't know. Someone's improved significantly, though. Cool. Well, this seems like a good point to end the episode. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.